In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 5 8500GE processor all the way up to 5.2 GHz in 5 minutes or less using the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero motherboard and custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just copy these settings and apply them to your APU. If you want to learn how to overclock this APU, have a look at the longer Scatavancher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo Tweaked. That makes the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and associated primary memory timings and voltage. However, the Asus motherboard will apply optimized secondary timings to improve memory performance. Switch to the advanced menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Enter the DDR and Infinity Fabric timings submenu. Here we can adjust the system memory configuration as well as tune the Infinity Fabric and memory controller. Since we are using the Expo settings for this guide, we'll only fine tune the Infinity Fabric and memory controller frequency. Enter the Infinity Fabric frequency and dividers submenu. Set UClock Div 1 mode to UClock equals MemClock. This forces the memory controller to run at the same frequency as the system memory. Our memory frequency will be DDR5-6400, which is 3.2 GHz, so the memory controller will run at 3.2 GHz. Leave the Infinity Fabric Frequency and Dividers submenu. Leave the DDR and Infinity Fabric Frequency Timings submenu. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 Toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boosting Algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO Limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO Platform Parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC, according to the Motherboard Auto Rules. On this motherboard we find that the following values have changed. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed FMAX, or maximum frequency, up to 200 MHz in steps of 25 MHz. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 150. This increases the FMAX of the classic Zen 4 cores from 5050 MHz to 5200 MHz and the FMAX of the dense Zen 4 C cores from 3700 MHz to 3850 MHz. Furthermore, the operating frequency in an all-core workload goes up from 5625 MHz and 3700 MHz to 4775 MHz and 3820 MHz for the Zen 4 and Zen 4 cores respectively. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. Each step represents around 5 millivolt. On Ryzen 8000G and GE processors, we can set the Curve Optimizer for all cores or per core. Set Curve Optimizer to per core. Set Core 0 to Core 5 Curve Optimizer sign to negative. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. It's the former we need in our overclock. Note that the curve optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than just copying mine. I set the Curve Optimizer Magnitude for each core according to my test result. Set Core 0 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 0. Set Core 1, 2, 3 and 5 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 25. Set Core 4 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 20. Leave the Curve Optimizer submenu. Leave the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Enter the SOC and Core OC mode submenu. 
Here we can enable OC mode for the SOC Uncore IP blocks, which forces the Infinity Fabric, Unified Memory Controller and System Memory to always run at their highest frequency. Set SOC Uncore OC mode to enabled, then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. The GeoMean performance improvement is plus 6.87% and we get a maximum improvement of plus 16.13% in Pi Prime. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5200 MHz. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU C core effective clock is 4752 MHz and the average CPU D core effective clock is 3802 MHz. The average CPU core voltage is 1.199 volts, the average CPU temperature is 68.3 degrees Celsius, and the average CPU package power is 71.5 watts. And that's it. I want to thank you for watching and the Patreons for their support, and see you next time.